The digital play continues the inspirational tale of Avery Cates and his rise from adorable orphan slitting throats while singing cheerful show tunes to wealthy criminal boss who spends his ill-gotten wealth prosecuting a one-man war against the police. His orgy of grudge murder is interrupted when he's kidnapped by a mysterious group and injected with a nanobot plague that spreads from him, killing everyone he comes into contact with in a matter of days while keeping Cates himself and anyone within a few feet of him unharmed. The police discover that standing next to Cates preserves them from the plague, so spend the majority of the book carrying Cates around like luggage to keep themselves alive. As the world breaks down in Thunderdomian chaos, these unlikely allies trace a signal coming from the nanobots and follow it to a sad, abandoned Paris where they find the genius hacker who has created the plague. An old friend of Cates's forced to do it by Cates's old psionic sidekick from the Electric Church, cranky about being left for dead and fond of making expository speeches that would make any Bond villain blush. The plague is tied to the hacker's vital signs, which is the only reason he is still alive in Chapter 19 when Cates arrives. Cates also discovers that he was originally betrayed by his fellow badass gunner, who suddenly appears after being absent for the entire book, which really should have been a huge giant hint. After failing horribly to rescue the hacker, it's back to New York where the master plan involves reanimating dead bodies and killing everyone who declines to become a reanimated dead body. The badass gunner who betrayed Cates realizes he might also be expected to become a reanimated dead body and switches sides, and helps Cates battle his way into a heavily defended Bellevue hospital so he can kill his old hacker friend and stop the plague. In the end, Cates is alone, saddened by the death of, well, just about everyone he's ever known, plus just about everyone he never knew to begin with, and very, very tired. The book ends with Cates singing The Leaving of Liverpool and has a $50 bill stuck between pages 203 and 204. True story. True story.